What is truth? Why do we believe the things we do? Whom do we believe and why? French philosopher Michel Foucault is one of the most cited thinkers of the 20th century. He died in 1984, but his work feels particularly timely right now, as it's largely about knowledge, truth and power. Everything I do, I do in order that it may be of use, he once said. So what might Foucault say about the world today, where terms like fake news and post-truth are banded around, and with the rise of social media and algorithms? Foucault's work is not straightforward or easy to understand. Unlike Marx or Freud, Foucault didn't believe in all-embracing theories to explain the world. Life is complicated and nuanced. He argued that language and the structures that underpin it helps shape the way we see things. Words matter. They frame the debate and how we understand the world. He called this the archaeological method. But he was also interested in understanding social structures like capitalism and the complicated power dynamics at play. In particular, the relation between these power structures and knowledge. He called this the genealogical method. So the archaeological Foucault would be fascinated by social media and how the original author of a post can so quickly disappear from view as the text takes on a self-replicating life of its own. The more politically engaged genealogical Foucault would focus on how it can offer a voice to marginalised groups, immigrants, for example, and in some cases even stir up revolution. And the later Foucault, profoundly influenced by ancient Greek and Roman theories about how we can best care for ourselves, will look at how social media can open up chinks and conventional power structures, gaps where we can transform ourselves for the better. But he would also say, wake up! Foucault, both the careful scholar and the cultural rebel, would sound the alarm about how social media can trap people in echo chambers. He'd argue that we have imprisoned ourselves in a system of constant surveillance, giving away so much personal data about our lives to Google, Facebook, YouTube and the rest with barely a second thought. He'd be analysing how data harvested from our profiles is being used to control us without our knowing, to influence not just what we see and buy, but also how we vote. He would show how social media can function as yet another form of micromanagement and be all the more pervasive and powerful because the operations underpinning it, algorithms for example, are near invisible, although they make us highly visible. And he'll be warning us that, as our awareness grows that we are being observed and controlled as objects, we will be increasingly likely to monitor ourselves. We will become self-scrutinizing subjects. Remember the panopticon, he would say. This was an inexpensive way of old-school crowd control proposed by philosopher Jeremy Bentham in the late 18th century. Picture a central tower, in a prison for example. The prisoners can't see in, so they never know whether they're being watched or not. The result? They effectively internalise the surveillance and modify their own behaviour as if they were. Our self-imprisonment becomes even more insidious and damaging when the walls are in fact fake when we are controlled by fake news replicating at terrifying speed, often unwittingly through our own actions. If we believe the news to be true, then the power to shape our lives lies not with us, but with those who know it to be false. And if in time we come to think that all news is fake, if we become entirely cynical, then we no longer have the vital tools we need to create ourselves as individuals or develop our communities as we'd like. But is Foucault in fact part of the problem here? Did he prepare the ground for the rise of fake news? The charge here is that he denies the possibility of objective truth, and this has opened the way for claims of competing truths and alternative facts in Trump's America and Brexit Britain, for example. Sometimes he's even accused of helping to dissolve the boundary between true and false altogether. But this charge is itself fake news. Foucault would both relish the irony, but also call it out loud and clear. Foucault challenges specific social sciences about their underlying assumptions does not question all claims to objective truth, like those in maths, for example. As an activist, he campaigned for accurate factual news reporting. Indeed, his very notion of the care of the self is based on ancient Greek and Roman thinkers who viewed philosophy as a way of life committed to truthfulness. So Foucault would be fascinated by the opportunities created by social media to give a voice to the voiceless and to fight tyranny. But he would also be shouting from the barricades, don't become a slave to the invisible forces.